after the big pass play. what Breeden wants to do and he needs time to throw. Oklahoma only rushed four and give Oklahoma State offensive line a lot of credit. They just put up Never got higher than A-ball. At a 19-26 record, a 5.02 ERA. Fastball measured once at 97 miles an hour. He is married. Married just about a year ago. And he said, I like that married. I go home, don't go out as mad. He said, I like it. Settling down. So here's now Hunter. About this offensive line before the season started, as he drops it in, he's... that jet look, he throws out of it. Cooper and I talked about it. Uh, Brandon Wheaton and what Winky did, how he performed for Florida State. Very similar situation. Stepping away from the pressure. Take the draw. Wheaton down the middle. Touchdown, Josh Cooper. A very patient Brandon Wheaton. Standing tall in that pocket and delivers the scoring strike. That's the running game. It frees, freezes Lewis. Lewis, by just stepping up a little bit right there, gives them the room that they need to be able to execute. And also, bowling, holding this corner, gave them the room that they needed. And eventually, nice throw by Whedon, just in time for the touchdown. Kendall Hunter checks into the game, deadlocked at 24 here in the third quarter. Fires it out to the main target. Blyer. It's no longer, let's put it together for one year and then go away. There's stability now with this Cowboy program. Second down and eight. Look at the time. He's covered. He's going to play minor league baseball. Now he's back as a first-time starter in college football. This is a great job, and it shows you he's still growing. Take it all the way. They drop it in on the sides that they've had in the past. But to, to the credit of the Sooners, they've held up pretty well in the interior now. Second down and nine. Pressure gets him at all. Blackman back on the field, and he will not get the first. <laughs> you know, here we go. First down and ten. And swing it out now to Randall. It's locked. Wheaton is so calm in the pocket. Keeping the Cowboys under control. Remember now, the Cowboys came in averaging 45 points a game. There's a deflection and a dive for the interception. Box. There's an drop the defensive lineman. Great job by Lewis getting the hands up in the air. And I'll tell you, that was an instinctive play by Austin Box, who was coming in on a blitz. Then he jumps up into the air. Then he sees James Stanks up there with that zone blitz. They brought the pressure of Brennan. Was able to catch him off guard, and Oklahoma made a tremendously athletic play to be able to come up with that interception. Kendall Hunter. Yeah, he's finished, drops it in. His hurry up there, and they're still in a comfort zone, even though they're down nine. They just got to move the ball down the field. Firing reception incomplete. Waved off from my judge over there on that side. And he's got it. Yeah, he came marking it. Yes, sir. He came up with the catch. At least that's what they're calling it on the field. That's a tremendous effort. Now from the 22-yard line. Looks to me like he's about 60, 65% here tonight. Seems like he goes for a player too. He has to catch his breath. And four receivers from Wheaton. 434. Third down and three. Play action. It's a right touchdown, Blackman. What a beautiful throw by Brandon. When Cooper goes in the motion, it's going to attract some of the defenders, but here's Blackman at the top, goes to the post. The important thing here is Wheaton allows the play to develop, and eventually he waits down in Dallas. Was the first one. Dick Vermeer and I did that. Great Texas upset of Nebraska. Now we come to the last one. Slap pass into the woods to these wide.
wide receivers who are capable of making people miss. Wheaton has time. Trying to change up the looks that time, putting eight defenders in coverage. He's rushing with three. And 